back on, up on Fort Tyson, and we're going through a series of tapes about how to go step by step and leaving your high tax country and picking a freer country to actually get out of your residency, get out of your tax ties. In some cases, if you're a U.S. citizen, get out, getting out of your U.S. citizenship. And this is a three-part series of tapes. This is the final one that we've got on basically how to do this step by step. And and these are some the things. If you if you go by this, you will alleviate uh, most or all of your mistakes once you make a decision to do this. Also, folks, if you want to learn more on this, go to our website www.citizenshipquickly.com. Hit the top bar that says Apply with us. Fill out the questions. Hit that bottom bar that says Send it to us. We'll get back with you. Also, don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button at the right of your screen. You'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. All right, now, the best, um, uh, the, the, one of the things I would be looking for is, um, uh, is where you can, uh, uh, the best country as far as culture goes. Uh, I, I'll tell you something that can really wreck your plans on, some, on a place is when you go to a place and you just cannot deal with the culture. Uh, I'm going to tell you, that's one of the things that can bother people more than anything. And I'll tell you one thing that you're going to run into in Central America, you run into it in South America, you, all over the world, actually. The, the U.S., places like Australia, places like Canada are very similar in their culture. Things get done pretty on, on time. Uh, people return phone calls. People return emails. Uh, you know, but there's a side effect to that that can really hurt you, and that is... Um, you have high taxes with that. Most countries that seem to have all that uh, seem to have high taxes. Now, Singapore is one of the few that does not. Uh, and Hong Kong used to be that way. I think China is going to come in and probably up their taxes quite a bit. Uh, Singapore does have a lot of things I don't like. It doesn't have visa-free. Uh, it, excuse me. It does not have. Uh, it doesn't allow dual citizenship. So these are some things that you're going to have to look at. They have other things too. It's an autocratic type government. I mean, I can go on and on with other tapes on that. But you know, um, you you need to be able to deal with the culture because I will tell you in the Caribbean. When people don't show up, they don't return your phone call, they do something half-butted, can really piss you off. And I've seen a lot of people that just cannot deal with that. I mean, that's uh, you're going to have to change somewhat when you leave your home country because that's going to be probably the hardest thing I've had to deal with, okay? that that Because I'm so used to getting things done right, and uh, I, I do make a lot of mistakes, but I, I try to do the best I can. Whereas I run into a lot of people, you know, that just don't seem to really give a crap sometimes. And that, that irks me, especially, you know, when you're paying them to do something. But if you can get over that hump, that's something that not only you're going to have to deal with it, your wife's going to have to deal with it too. And that's why I say you need to take some trips and kind of visit a country for a while to see how you like and see how if you can deal with that before you make your move. Um, now, remember, whatever country you pick for citizenship has no materialistic uh you know, uh, correlation to that because you can get your passport in a country and then leave and move somewhere else. So that has nothing to do with where you get your passport at. The things you want to look at on your passport is visa-free travel. Do they allow dual citizenship? You know, is that country going to give you a good uh, escape route if you need to go there and not pay income taxes if the other country starts to come out with a tax system? And that's why I like St. Kitts, because there's no income tax, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax. That should be your goal. Look at the flag theory on our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com at the very top. Look at the flag theory and study that. You really should study that because that helps you keep from making tax mistakes when you're pick, picking uh, second passport countries that you're going to get your uh, uh, passport in. So this is really important that you, you look at that. Another thing I would look at too is crime statistics. Now, this can be a misnomer because when you're looking at crime, there's several elements you got to look at on this because I, I used to get confused on this myself too. When you're looking at countries on crime, you got to look at where is this crime coming from? Is it coming all from drug traffickers and people that are gang related? If 90% is coming from that, if you could take all that out, what's the crime rate like? Is it close to zero? Okay. Now, that's the key thing because if you're not drug trafficking, if you're not dealing in gangs and, and dealing with drugs, I mean, and your chances of probably getting into a you know, uh, somebody killing you or robbing you is probably pretty low. 
these are some things that you have to check on because if those statistics are low, then you, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. But those are some things that I would be looking at is to see where is the crime coming from? Is it coming from drug related, uh, you know, gangs and stuff like this? If it is, then uh, I wouldn't be concerned with that if you're not involved with that. Um, and I'd also pick a country that's got a fairly good cost of living. I, I hear so many people complain when they go to a country, they're no longer paying any income taxes, but they're paying out of their ass and just for a box of cereal. They complain over it. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, you're complaining over a box of cereal and you, you're keeping all your money. That doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I would rather overpay a little bit for a box of cereal and food. But, but by the way, you can get it close to the U.S. and have no income tax. I would test you to come to St. Kitts sometimes. The prices here, if you look at fresh fruits and vegetables, and even a lot of packaged things, like I told you before, I, uh, this was on another video, I got a big box of cereal just the other day for about two U.S., a, a big one, okay? So, I mean, you know, um, these are some things you have to look at. And if you go to the Cayman Islands, you're going to pay out of your butt because everything is expensive there. It's like Bermuda. So, you know, you can get a pure tax saving country under your belt and still pay low prices if you look at videos like this, because I'm telling you, you know, how you can do it. And St. Kitts has those prices. They, they have very competitive prices here. Um, and uh, if you look at other videos, we got all kinds of ways we can practically pay nothing for food here. There's all kinds of ways to do it. I, I just watch your other vi videos. They have stuff that is on sales on these stores. Sometimes they're just incredibly low prices. You know, you just have to look for them. And, uh, uh, and I've mentioned to you about Carabana before. It's like the Walmart of St. Kitts. I got a belt over there for two U.S. bucks. I mean, it's a nice quality belt for two U.S. I don't think you could go into Walmart and probably get a belt any nicer than this for two U.S., okay? You go to places like the Cayman Islands, Bermuda, British Virgin Islands, Bahamas, man, you're going to pay a lot. Those places are very expensive. So if you want to keep your prices down low, this is a great place for that. So, uh, but, you know, don't complain about a box of cereal being, you know, uh, high or whatever. If you're keeping 100% of your money in taxes, that, that just doesn't make sense. But I see some people that do that. They forget where they came from. And... Um, you know, but th that's that's a key thing that I would be looking for, and make sure you're okay with the weather. You know, that's another issue. I have, I've seen people go to Belize, Central America, and they just complain like hell. The weather's just it is hot there. It's hot in Panama too, man. You think that's hot? Go to the UAE. It's dreadfully hot there. Uh, Saint Kitts has got, I think, the best weather. Not just Saint Kitts, but the Leeward Island chain has got the best weather of any place I've been in the world. I don't use heating. And I don't use air conditioning. I've never been to any place in the world. I never had to use either one of those. I just got my electric bill for this month. It was like uh, 25 U.S. Okay, and uh, uh, I doubt you're, you're going to find many places where you can get electric bills like that. Okay, and we're in January, by the way, too. Okay, and that, that was for, uh, that was for uh, December's bill. So, I mean, that's how cheap everything is here. So these are some things that you need to look for. And also, I would also tell you to, to look for places where the water and the air is clean. All right, that's one thing I like here is the water. I can go uh, swimming in the ocean. It's incredibly clean. The pollution level, I'm, I'm up here on Fort Tyson, man. The, the pollution level up here has got to be zero. <laughs> I mean, it's just incredibly clear air. I can. I, I took a trip. I used to go to the, uh, Dubai. I had a company there for several years. I used to get on the plane, come off on the tarmac in St. Kitts. And as soon as I got off the plane, I could tell the huge difference in the air quality as soon as I got off. I mean, it was incredible the difference I could tell. Um, and as soon as I would get off the plane in Dubai, I could tell the difference in the air quality there. Uh, it's polluted, okay? And uh, the air's clean here. The water's clean here. might not be important to you, but I'll tell you something. Uh, I like making money, but I like my life better. I, I'd like to live to be 120. And I, think, I don't think there's anything more important than clean air and clean water. Low cost living is good. No taxes is nice, but if you don't have those ingredients, man, uh, that that's the ultimate. And, and having clean air because you're going to breathe it every day, 
and I would be getting a place that's clean uh, air and clean water. Anyway, folks, these are things that you ought to be looking at. The three tapes that we did here, look at those three tapes, listen to them over and over again. These are the things you need to study, think about before you make that move because you want to make sure you've looked back and you've made the right decision, you don't regret it. Uh, if you want to learn more on this, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. Hit the top bar that says apply with us, fill out the questions, hit that bottom bar that says send it to us. We deal with over 100 citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries all over the world. And folks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got over uh, right at 600 videos you can look at and that notification bell next to that subscribe button. And uh, I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And I'll look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.